What's up everybody, Christopher here. I'm back with another video and today, woo, I'm gonna do something a little different, a little unorthodox, and you're not gonna want to miss it. So welcome back to another American in Germany video. I do these weekly. You may or may not be familiar with it, but if you're interested in my experiences as an American in Germany, stick around and join the CLR Nation and you'll get to see this stuff every week. So as mentioned though, today, today is going to be a tough one. What I'm going to try and do, I'm gonna try with my very American tongue to pronounce the longest words in the German language. Now, I gave this a shot before I pressed the record button so that I can get ready for all the twists and turns that my tongue's gonna have to do. But I noticed that there's just no preparing for this. You cannot rehearse for this. Now, what I found is six actual German words that I'm gonna try and pronounce, right? But I also saw a video by Trixie in which she did the longest German word ever. Now, I don't know why it's not on this list, but I'm gonna give these six words a go and then I'm gonna give that word my best chance. It's probably a fail before I even begin, but I'm gonna give that word also a chance. And then as a bonus, I'm gonna try and pronounce the longest word in the English language. So without dragging this on, let's just go for it. I have my headphones because I wanna hear it pronounced first before I give it a go. And, and yeah, let, let, let's go, man. I'll put each word on the screen just so you guys can see exactly what it is I'm screwing up. But here we go, the first word. <clears throat> okay. This first word is 41 letters, and the English translation of what it means is the regulation requiring a prescription for an anesthetic. All right, so here we go. First word. Beterbungsmittelverschreibungsverordnung. How was that? One more time. Beterbungsmittelverschreibungsverordnung. Betebungsmittelsverschreibungsverordnung. Word number one. That wasn't so bad. I feel, I feel like this will just get worse from here though. Okay, <laughs> moving on to word number two. It's shorter with only 30 letters. And it says here that it roughly means head district chimney sweep. Head District Chimney Sweep. I don't know what that means, but here we go with word number two. Longest German word, number two. Bezirksschornsteinfegermeister. Bezirksschornsteinfegermeister. That's not as hard as the first one. Bezirksschornsteinfegermeister. Okay, I think I got that one. That one actually wasn't so bad, but I feel like that's gonna set me up because this next one, just looking at it, oh my gosh, look at this word. One word, 79, 80 letters, and the meaning is Association of Subordinate Officials of the Head Management, of the Head Office Management of the Danuba Steamboat Electrical Services. Association of Subordinate Officials of the Head Office Management of the Danuba Steamboat Electrical Services whatever that is. All right, man. <laughs> I feel like I want to save this word to last, but I'm going to get it out of the way because ain't no, use of, ain't no use of waiting, right? Let's go for it. Woo! Here we go. Donaudampfschifarschelektrizitätenhauptbetriebswerkbauntabin Tingesselschaft. Guys, I, I don't even like the flow of that. I'm gonna give it one more try. Let's give these let's get let's give this 80 letter German word another try. <clears throat> Woo! Donau Dampfschifffahrt Selektrizitäten. Hauptbetriebswerk Bounter Beamten Gesellschaft. If you're German, let me know how hard or easy this word is to say for you. Hard or not, only the Germans answer this question. Okay, so I've gotten through that. 
I've gotten through that and I feel like I need to move on before I get blisters on my tongue. Okay, um, and actually this next word is very similar to the last one. It's only about 40 letters through that it changes and actually just it changes and stops. So this next word is 42 letters. The meaning is Danuba Steamship Company Captain. So this one's shorter. It's, it's very similar to the previous word and I think it's related. Looks like it's related somehow. Yeah, because the definition is very similar. Okay, so after that last word, this one shouldn't be like super duper hard, right? Let's go. Donaudampfschiffaschtgesellschaftkapitän. Kapitän. The end part. See, it's an umlaut on the, over the A. Let's try it again. Donaudampfschiffaschtgel... One more time. Donaudampf... Oh my gosh. The now dampf shifarst gesellschafts kapitän. How good was that? How good or bad was that? Is that terrible? Pause this video. Let me know in the comments how I did on the one before this and this one. Pause the video and tell me if I did well or not. Germans. Moving on to word number five. This one is 39 letters long and the meaning is legal protection insurance companies it's an easy enough definition so here we go let's give it a go 39 letter long german word rechtsschutzversicherungsgesellschaften rechtsschutzversicherungsgesellschaften i think i got that rechtsschutzversicherungsgesellschaften huh that's not so bad that's not so bad I think I, I think I did that one good. This one and the actual second one, Berserk Schornstein Fegermeister. I think I did good on on both of those. What do y'all think? This next one looks bad. I'm not gonna attempt the Reschusversessionsgeschäftin too much because I don't want to mess it up. I think I did good. Sixth and final longest German word in the German language. 63 letters and it refers to law for regulating the labeling of beef okay the law for regulating the labeling of beef okay 63 letters sixth longest german word on this list that i'm going to pronounce today Whew. here we go rein fleisch start over Rein Fleischetikettierung Zuberwaschung Saufgabe Nübertragungsgesetzt. Gesetz. I, I did that wrong at the end, so let's give this another go. Rein Fleisch. You, you see, I have to take a breath. I have to take a breath before I attempt these words. Here we go. I'm take a drink too. Ah. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, oh, oh. All right, here we go. Reinfleischeteiketierungsüberwaschungsaufgabenübertragungsgesetz. Reinfleischeteiketierungsüberwaschungsaufgabenübertragungsgesetz. There you go. How did I do? If you're German, let me know how I did. I need to know where I stand with pronouncing these very difficult words to pronounce for someone who didn't grow up putting so many consonants and letters together like this. But that's it. That's the six longest word. That's the six longest words in the German language. Now guys, this next word is not going to go well for me. Okay? You guys are probably going to hate me for this. I'm going to give it a go because I've seen other people do it. I've seen other Americans attempt it. I've never given any word <laughs> like this any try ever before. So this is going to be my first time. Not only that, this is going to be me doing it unconditioned. I have an unconditioned tongue for this. So have some mercy. Don't feel disrespected because I'm not going to get this right. Okay. But I'm going to give it a try anyway because that's what I want to do. All right. Here we go. Now, apparently, this is supposed to be a minute long word. So. It might not be that long for me because I might just be jumping straight through these letters. And I don't need to hear this one 
ahead of time because I've already heard it and I know what it's about. But here we go. Breathe. Oberwässerdampfschifffahrts <sighs> Gesellschaftskapitäns Mützen Abzeichen Polia Mittelkanister Deckelherzstellungs Verbands vor Seizen den Aus Weißhüllens Schneidemaschinen Mode Wartungsplan Aktualisierungs Beauftragten Zertifikats Ausstellungsbehörden, Beamten, Krawatten, Noten beim die Anleitungsautoren, Büro, Computer, Taz, Daturan, Schlusskabelumhüllungs, Reparatur, die ihren Dienstfahrzeugs vor der Rief. In Gummi Bescheichtungs Fabrik Gebäde Heutzungs Gewehrlegungsmechaniker Verzeugkasten Vers Schlucksklappen Sicherungs Schlossfunktion Während wortlichen Prüfungsfragebogen Fragen sind Entwickler, Qualifications, Ökunden, Drucker, Tenten, Patronen, Nachfüllpaket, Bestellformular, Ankreuz, Ankreuzkätzchen, Design, Herausbildung. That's it. You're not getting more than one of those out of me. <laughs> I don't see how y'all do it. That's just not easy at all. That is super, super difficult. Oh my goodness. But I said I'd give it a shot and that's what I gave it. I gave it a shot. Y'all feel free to let me know how I did. Don't be cruel, but just know that I gave it a fair shot. I'll never have to say that word, let's be honest. I just wanted to see how hard it would be for me to even attempt it. But as promised, I'm gonna try and pronounce the longest word in the English language which is only 45 letters. I don't know if there's a longer word, but from the search that I did, it only came up with this word, uh, which is only 45 letters. To be fair, I probably won't be able to pronounce this one well either, but I'm gonna give it a shot. All right, so here we go. It's on the screen so you guys can see it too. Here we are. Numano Ultra Microscopic Silico Volcano Coniosis. Numano Ultra Microscopic Silico Volcano Coniosis. Is that right? Numano Ultra Microscopic Silico Volcano Coniosis. What that means is lung disease caused by breathing in silica dust. So if you always want to know what Numano Ultra Microscopic Silico Volcano Coniosis is, that's what that is. If you always wanted to pronounce it, give it a go on your own. That's gonna do it for my video today, guys. I hope you appreciate the exercises that I'm trying to give my tongue while I learn this English language. German, while I learn this German language. I'm not using this as a guide, but it's at least an exercise for my tongue to get used to putting these letters together and just trying to be more flexible with my mouth when it comes to pronouncing these words. If you appreciate how I did, like the video. If in your opinion I'm making a mockery of it, hit the dislike button. Let me know. Just let me know how you feel about it, okay? And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. How about that? How about that? Come back to the next video.